Today, I'll be opening up a $50 Macho the Collector comic book mystery box. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx. Back DJ in the building, Link. back in effect, and back with another video. And today, I will be opening up a Macho the Collector $50 comic book mystery box now. This box was $50 shipped. If you remember, I opened up a, a big boy box a couple of bits back and that was 500 bucks. So Macho put out $50 boxes, $50 shipped. So I hopped on two, gonna open up one today. And yeah, so let's get right to it. I cut the tape. I'm not gonna lie, I cut the tape. I was just like, nobody wants to see me cut tape. So I didn't look at the box or anything like that. It's dope. Oh yeah, so before I go any further, I picked box number nine and box number 15. So he had 25 total. The box number, that's gonna enter you in the raffle for the GP. And I forgot what the GP is, but it'll appear here. So this is my raffle ticket, box number nine. As always, I'm gonna open it up. Okay. Uh, no pull tabs. Gotta do pull tabs, dogs, pull tabs. As a chubby pop chaser would start singing, pull tab action, 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 pull tab, pull tab, pull tab action. Chubby is hilarious. If you're not subbed up to chubby pop chaser, make sure you sub him up. Dude is mad funny. I'm trying to get this uh, get this open. As always, I'm going to show it to you, and then I'll look at it. You'll get my reaction. Let me see. Ah, I want to put that one down. That might be the big hit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten comic books. Much of the collector. Fifty dollar comic book mystery box. Ooh, I'm excited. I, I get so excited to do this stuff. I don't know why. I guess, uh, and I'm not a big gambler like that. Like, but I'm I'm just excited to do this. So, we're gonna start. One. What do we got? Amazing Spider-Man 192. 24 hours to Doomsday. I think I have this. This is pretty cool. It's in uh, decent shape. It's not not in not in the greatest shape. But yeah, I, th I think I actually have this. Dope cover. I think the majority of these are going to be Amazing Spider-Man. I think I saw one of his posts or in a conversation that we had. It was like the majority of them are going to be Amazing Spider-Man. So, 192. So, next book up. What do we got? Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man and the X-Men. Number 235, The Lords of Light and Darkness. Do I have this one? No. Um, that cover's crazy. Oh, McFarlane. <laughs> it's funny because I'm looking at it. And I'm like, yo, the, the, the Spider-Man, the drone looks uh, super familiar. So done by McFarlane. This is dope. This is dope. Could be in better shape. Uh, it's intact, but pretty cool. Next book up. What do we got? Amazing Spider-Man 218. <laughs> I pulled this out of uh, Boxed Heroes Mystery Box and it was beat to shit that immediately after the camera stopped rolling, I threw a fit and I ripped it up into pieces. I was just like, Jesus Christ. No pressing would ever save that book. This is pretty cool. Glad I was able to get it back because I was super pissed off at the uh, Boxed Heroes uh, damage one. Next book up. What do we got? An Amazing Spider-Man event, Dead No More, The Clone Conspiracy, number one. This is a dope cover. This is pretty cool. Almost looks like the uh, Gabriel Delato uh, variant that we've been seeing with the Amazing Spider-Man going on now. Pretty dope. Next we go. 
What do we got? The Superior Spider-Man number 19. That's uh, Spider-Man 299 on the cover. Pretty cool. Next book up. Mad Dog number one. Marvel Comics, Ace Comics. One's bitten. <laughs> this is oddly awesome. I don't know if this is some sort of collaboration between Marvel Comics and Ace Comics, but this is uh, pretty cool. Mad Dog. Ah, uh, the 90s. Number one. Uh, four books left. What do we got? X-Men number 29, Return to Hellfire. Psylocke, Archangel there. Ar Archangel. Um, damn, I forgot this dude's name. Ah, totally forgot. Pretty cool, number 29, that 90s goodness. Love me some 90s stuff. 90 is the best. Next book up. What do we got? X-Men number 12. At the mercy of Hazard. 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 Uh, X-Men. This 90s X-Men is probably... The 90s X-Men and the McFarlane Spider-Man. That's probably my two favorite comic book runs of all time. Uh, probably mainly for nostalgia as opposed to like the stories were awesome or anything like that but I just loved it and that that was in my prime and I think it was the first couple of books that I got where it was like the number one and I just got every single issue um, that came out so this is pretty awesome Hazard <laughs> next book up what do you got the Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. X-Men. The X- What? An X-Men book. It's pretty thick. Direct edition. This is pretty cool. They look like they're in some uh, dystopian future. Mad Max-ish. She got a metal arm. Pretty cool. And the final book. Out of this $50 Macho the Collector comic book mystery box. Ha! <laughs> Venom 27. This is awesome. I saw when he posted um, stuff that you could possibly win or books that are gonna be in the mystery box. This is definitely one that uh, stood out to me. I wanted this. Uh, no, with the Infinity Gauntlet. Probably doesn't have shit to do with the book. But this cover is amazing and this is in fantastic shape. There's like a bend there. Nothing that can't be uh, pressed out. Um, I wanted this. There's a $45 price tag on the back. But I am definitely happy. I really, really wanted this. So, all in all, we got some good books. Got some all X-Men and Spider-Man. And then you got the Venom. What's that? We'll, we'll put that into the Spider-Man pile so this is definitely the, the, the best hit um i'm loving that marvel tales uh featuring spider-man and x-men by mcfarlane um again it was good to get this back into the fold after that disaster uh that i had last time but yeah all in all i'm pretty happy so that's gonna do it for me ladies and gentlemen as always subscribe like and hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me and as always most importantly most importantly spread love because it's the brooklyn way Peace.